to Eddie Hunter, and he had an outstanding game. Coach Dree said you were all over the field, played an incredible game, three interceptions in this game tonight. Eddie, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I feel great. Body feel good. I'm in shape. Okay. Just I came over here to the Long, uh, to Inglewood Blackhawks from the Long Beach Lions, Long Beach Lions last okay. year. Mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to make an impact with the team, trying to get a ring this year. How, how, how did this level, it's semi-pro, it's still a very high level. The players are very physical. This is not something that's a walk in the park. This is work. This is very, very serious work. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people take it for granted, you know, because it's semi-pro, but there's still a lot of players out here that still got it, still can get to the next level. So I just work hard every day, work out, and just come out here and do what I do, what I do best. Eddie, let's tell our viewers a little bit about your background, where you grew up and where you're from, what high schools you, you went to and colleges and, and how you got here. Um, I grew up in Los Angeles, California. I went to Inglewood High School. Okay. I left there. I went to Arizona State, played a year. Um, okay. Got some a little this and that, you know. So now I came back, went to uh, Pierce college in the valley okay. and then I went to a, D, a division two in Western State in Colorado ah, okay. and after that I played a little arena ball uh, worked okay. out for a couple NFL teams and okay. now I'm here I'm still young I'm 24 I'm okay. just trying to get back in it and give me a contract and hopefully move on forward okay and again right here from the Southland from Southern California uh, native son Yes. And, and uh, let's see, uh, Eddie, let's see, I want to ask you a little bit about your um, experience up at that, the level bef before, say, at Long Beach when you were playing there, and just prior to getting into this level of play, some of the experiences you had. Up, up um, actually, coming from playing arena ball to this, I mean, it's quick pace. Mm -hmm. I was all, I played DS, I always guard the motion man. Yeah. So, it, so doing that all the time and then coming to this level, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of relaxing, but I got to keep my level of my gameplay up high, and, you know, mm -hmm. you can never take any receiver for granted. Okay. So I just bring the best every time I touch the field and you, you you've got to stay in shape at this level uh, because there are some fierce hitters yeah. all over the field at any given time yeah it is I actually I'm one of them so you know so I just I bring my a game every time I touch the field I just put everything on the line play every play like it's my last play Okay. Um, just recently uh, the loss the morning the loss now the whole NFL nation morning the loss of Jack Tatum um, the famous Raider um, uh, um, player, and he just passed away. Uh, your thoughts on that? Uh, did you follow uh, him a little bit? Yeah, I followed him a little bit. When I played Pop Warner, a lot of people said I used to hit like him. You know, so I, I kind of started looking into him. I never really got a chance to watch him play just because of the age difference. Mm -hmm. But from, from what I know of him, he was a pretty good guy. Okay, and how's the chemistry on this team here? It looks like it's very healthy, it's very good. You guys get along with each other all the time and do things both off off the field as well. Yes, I mean, we, we just try to come together as a team, just keep everybody happy. You know, we do a lot of things off the field. We have parties together, mm -hmm. you know, barbecues, just keep the team unity. And we, we just try to work together as a team and just move forward. Like I said, we're trying to get this ring at the end of the season. And let's talk about some of the coordinators that are on the staff. We talked to head coach Tony Reed. We've known him for several years, and he's built up a very good core of offensive and defensive coordinators. How does it work for you guys when you come out and practice and get prepared for the games? Um, usually we just we come out, everybody know, everybody pretty much know everything, what we need to do. So once the coaches get out here, we already then started our stretches, we, we, we warmed up, we ready. So once the coaches get here, we just break up in our groups and prepare for our next game. Okay, and your particular coach is a special coach, right, as a defensive uh, back court coach? Yeah, so actually uh, we had a little problem with our defensive back coach, so we just recently lost him. Mm. So right now a defensive back coach, that's uh, uh, that's Kareem Lattimore, okay. uh, former Dallas Cowboy, yeah. and I mean he, he just feeds us a lot. He played at the level that I never played at, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just learning, just picking up day by day. Eddie, and the number you wear, we don't have you in uniform, but the number you wear is I, I wear number eight. Okay. Any number special reason for eight? Uh, actually, no. Okay. I just I just put it on. I played with it in college, okay. so I just said I'm gonna go back to my college days when I was real young and real real healthy. <laughs> so I decided to go back to the number eight. Okay. Eddie Hunter, thanks for taking a little bit of time. Thank you so much. Sir. For an outstanding game and continued success throughout the year. And we'll try to get back here at least for three or four more home games and catch up here then. Okay, I look forward to talking to you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Eddie Hunter, MVP, defensive MVP of the game. Three interceptions as they almost shut out the Valley Predators. That's always their goal is to not allow any points against the their, their team. But, again, it's a big win for Coach Tony Reed and the Inglewood Blackhawks. We'll be back in just a moment.